like we always do at this time. What up, y'all? I don't think I was loud and clear on the last video. I had the audio turned down, and I was not speaking towards... Well, I thought I was speaking towards my mic, but my mic wasn't hooked up, so I got to check right now and see if my mic sounds nice. Check one. Let's see. My mic sound nice. Check two. Are you ready? <laughs> I am. Now check this shit out. It's a lot of shit going on, man. Now, this is the things that I never got into with the other video, and I never really get to tell y'all about McAdoo. McAdoo plays a real big part in King Von Demars. Cause allegedly they're trying to say McAdoo was I, I could show you more than I could better than I could tell you. I'm gonna show you why I feel like he should never trust O Block. He should never trust none of them. And he should stay oh he should stay real far away from every last one of them. Because hold up, I'm gonna get into the bullshit and then I'm gonna get into what I wanna say. What's up, y'all? Today I wanna talk about Old Block McAdoo, or, you know what I'm saying, or McAdoo 600, you know what I'm saying? What I want to talk about, uh, McAdoo, man, he was one of them dudes, he was doing his thing in, uh, um, Old Block and 600 and things like that, and you could hear a lot of guys always shouting his name out, but nobody really had the evidence of what he capable of doing and things like that. What I want to let y'all know that, um, really, McAdoo was one of the dangerous shooters in Old Block and 600, you know what I'm saying? Y'all didn't know that. Some of y'all do, some of y'all don't. He was actually one of them. He wanted the vicious one. You know what I'm saying? Right now, he's on a charge. He's one of the vicious ones. And they also trying to say that he was the guy allegedly arrested for killing Brick. I heard he just got out not too long ago. So he's, if I'm not mistaken, he's still a free man. Because I never heard anything else about him going back to jail after he was released for this crime. And I'm not, I don't want to say something I don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm not sure if he was charged with killing Brick, but I know that they're allegedly saying that he was the guy who killed Brick. But I just know one thing. He was chilling with their homegirl before all of this. You feel me? That's K.I. Rest in peace to K.I. So at the same token, it ask yourself, all these people grew up together and then turned into fucking bitter enemies and started killing each other. And I show you all the stuff of why he shouldn't trust Bezu. And, 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 and now ask yourself this question. Was McAdoo out there the day that HK got shot? Or was it Mimo? Was it McAdoo or was it Mimo? Hmm. Charged for killing two women. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't no innocent bystander or nothing like that. And some people say he was looking for a hop and he, was, he ended up shooting at the girls or whatever, doing by mistake. But another, uh, the story that actually came out is that the girls had a hit on him. One of the girls had a baby by an old block member and things like that. And you know what I'm saying? And, and um, she, he beat on her or something. He got locked up for it. He was on parole or something like that. And they said McAdoo called the guy like 15, 20 times before he did and after the situation. Uh, or what to do so that means evidently the girls had a hit on them it was a hit put out on the girls and McAdoo took the hit you know what I'm saying allegedly y'all cause he's still trying to fight the case or whatever but um um yeah they said that he took out the girls and things like that and, and he also wanted a guy that uh possibly the suspect that was identified as knocking off TB y'all say HK HK was there but no it was identified on the police said on the report that it was a light skinned guy with long hair that was that, <laughs> but they said, but understand this here. Why did they kill HK then? If HK wasn't the killer of TB, what you think they're gonna do to the killer of TB? And if HK was just there, he was only killed for guilt by association. The witness said, and you know what I'm saying, a lot of people know only two or three guys with lights, real light, that can do that. And McAdoo, what y'all don't know, McAdoo's one of them guys that no no talking. He gonna get out and shoot you. He gonna jump right out and shoot you. And no no playing with you. He shoots. 
Um, just like uh, another guy, you know what I'm saying, in Old Block, but I ain't gonna mention his name, he just shooting innocent people. You know what I'm saying? McAdoo and, uh, uh, and another guy in Old Block, I ain't gonna say his name, they known for shooting innocent people. Old Block will shoot innocent people if you get in the way of their situation. You see them coming and getting at their op, you better get the fuck up out the way. They shoot innocent people. They leave. I think it's sad. I think it's sad. If they come to get their ops, you better get the fuck out of the way because they shoot innocent bystanders too. <laughs> Niggas can't shoot. That's the problem. No witnesses. You know what I'm saying? Case, case closed. They not, you know what I'm saying, nothing. That's the only way they can beat their cases and stuff like that. But McAdoo and I smile and play and everything like that. But when he get it off them drugs and pills or whatever, he, he really with the shit, you know what I'm saying? He with his guys, you know what I'm saying? He's very dangerous, man. So you look at him and think he just played for now. This guy really get down, you know what I'm saying? He was he really knocks off for his team. But yeah, McAdoo, man, what you did, man, with them two girls, I know it was probably a hit or whatever, but that's your story. That's his story, but let me show you why shit get like, like cash, all them niggas. I'm sure they sitting back waiting to get their hands on this guy right here. McAdoo got a body count, damn it. These are all the people they saying he killed. That's my son y'all here in the back. TB, Taekwondo. Well. Hmm. Assisted bodies. But let me ask you a question. If Mimo was allegedly there, what reason would Mimo had to run if he had nothing to do with TB being killed? But won't it make great sense if McAdoo ran? Those who fight and run away live to fight another day. Assistant bodies. Present for three. Fredo Jaro City, Kobe Mac, STL, and Brick. FB, I mean, STL Brick. I always say FBG Brick, but you know, it is what it is. Brick. Rest in peace to Brick. Rest in peace to all these brothers. Attempted murders. One. And we tried to kill one person. We killed about three, four of them now. Saab, Jaro City. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, dude had, dude had a rep. Like, what could you say? And I'm telling y'all, Dirk went in and broke up the whole fucking 600 single-handedly and sitting back laughing. Why don't you never hear THF really beefing with each other? Except for the light-skinned dude. I wonder what happened to him that was beefing with Zunum. Never heard from him no more. He low-key. He hot. He low-key. They was walking around two guns last time they showed him, but you don't never hear old block beefing. You don't never hear, I mean, not old block, I'm sorry. Oh, we just seen old block kill each other. We don't, you don't see OTF members beefing. And as far as with Mimo, I feel like that's where Mimo was different at. Mimo ain't bite his tongue. He said, man, fuck all that. I don't want to be down with whatever he seen, he don't like. Whatever he seen or whatever somebody told him, he got them boys scared. For real. And as far as with the video that I did earlier, I'm, I apologize that if the volume was low on your end, it probably was low on my end too because like I said, I had messed up the audio, so I take I apologize to all of y'all for that. But don't worry, don't worry. All the shit I covered in that video, I'm gonna cover in this video too. We just gonna get more graphic. Because like I said, this guy was a close affiliate with King Von too. So you mean to tell me like all these dudes died, King Von, LA Capone, um, A Roy. Hmm. And then when you get when you catch on. Where the, who the fuck is Boss Top Parents? Because they said Boss Top was, Parents was originally GD's and he was from a GD area. He's not originally from Ball, from fucking Old Block. 
Like, the setup of old block, man, I don't get it no more. It's like they just let the ops come in and act like they was down with them for years as they were setting them up for years, knocking them off one by one. This is how I feel. Just me. And, and look, this dude was very cool with King, King Von, too. Beautiful lies. His new style and swag. Shouts out to my boy Drew and Music TV, my man. Peace. You know what I'm saying? And then the rumors just behind his name right now. You know what I'm saying? McAdoo looking like a like that nigga right now. You know what I'm saying? And um, a lot of people um don't know that. You know what I'm saying? That he was cool with scrapping them before. You know what I'm saying? He also actually one of the guy who actually had KI. You know what I'm saying? Um, when she was a regular woman, you know what I'm saying? He did his thing, you know what I'm saying? He probably actually, you know what I'm saying? He actually kissed her as a female and all that as a female. You know what I'm saying? And Vaughn, you know what I'm saying, kind of liked the KI. He wanted to to uh, get at KI, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if it was real or it was fake. He, he might have did want to bang her and then drill her after that. You never know, you know what I'm saying? Because I know McAdoo probably said she has... She had some good stuff, you know, because back in the day, uh, K.I. on that little picture looked like she was going to be a little cutie, but she turned out to be what she was or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And it's allegedly that he locked up, McAdoo is locked up right now for drilling some people, you know what I'm saying? I wonder if those people FBG breaking them, because I already had something to do with that. And like I said, all these young boys looked up to King Von, HK, um... I don't want to say that McAdoo looked up to him, but McAdoo was cool with King Von too, as I showed y'all. It's like everybody that was around this man died. Like, the get back gang, they call him. Look. Now that I'm older, I see this dude, scary as hell. Free my man, King Von. He a real dude. He'll be home soon. The shorty's in the whip. Looked up to King Vaughn as he was like older brothers to V Roy, Big A, HK, and J Money. After Big A was shot and killed, the war turned way up. On Valentine's Day, in the early hours of February 14th, 2017, V Roy, HK's brother, was shot and killed on the east side of Chicago. Chicago has seen at least seven homicides within a five hour window which involved three children and four adults. One of the shootings resulted in a triple shooting, killing two-year-old Levante White and his uncle, Lazarus Collins, also striking the boy's pregnant auntie in the abdomen, of which her and her unborn child survived. As Lazarus Collins went live, they were banging Chief Keith Love no thotties when Lazarus gang rivals cut them off in an alley in the West Londo neighborhood on the west side of Chicago. Holding cell, he is caught by another member 
fighting his own murder charge as get back for killing this child. Antoine Jones, he appears to be sleeping while he's handcuffed to a chair in this holding room before bond court Wednesday. Moments later, this seven second surveillance video shows an inmate walk up and throw punch after punch, causing Jones' chair to shake. Another deputy grabs the inmate from behind and pulls him off, a man facing his own. <laughs> the, the, the inmate that was standing up there with the block, that nigga said, let me get the hell out of the way. <laughs> All these events unfolded within an hour's time. The murder of V-Roy, Takaya, and Lazarus, and Levante after V-Roy was killed. Oblock went to Twitter to state, So sad seeing these young dudes losing their life, hanging around these goofy ass dudes. If you ain't sliding for T-Roy, don't say drill up, or even say anything. Do not gain if you're not sliding on BD. I lost my nigga, I lost my cousin, I lost my brother. Now my heart hurt. Oh, BD, this ain't over. When I say life, y'all, say forever. I'm gonna drill up for my brother. It's eye for eye until we all blind. F it, I love you, boy. This pain I feel, I wanna be with you so bad. Save me a spot right next to you. I wanna be with my brother. You gonna forever live through me. I just wish you was here with me. Drill up. And somebody took that and sent him right with his brother. And then I guess after King Von probably was catching on that they did the shit, they killed him and his other brother, killed King Von and his other brother Slutty. Now Muna, the one, the other one, I, I forgot his name, Zell. Zell Muna, the one that the one, is it Zell Muna, the one who um, they said committed suicide, which was bullshit. We know he didn't. We knew it didn't. But maybe he knew something. Because they killed all of these young men off, one by one by one. Even L.A. Capone, I don't care what nobody said. They they hit L.A. Capone, too. Yeah, he got shot the first time in his leg. Who shot him the second time, goddammit? Right. HK started to feel his heart was going cold as the way his brother was done. He had had enough. He wasn't going to wait for someone to handle what he wanted to do for himself. When Big A was killed, HK later found out or thought FBG Brick had given away Big A's location as well as his brother T. Roy. The murder of T-Roy and Big A lit fire under HK and the events that took place that will cause the deaths of TB, FBG Brick, and Kobe Mack. After the death of T-Roy's killer, Brick and Kobe, HK started to get clout on social media as people gave him the credit for the deaths. While HK had caught from recent events, member close to him stated he robbed some older BD members and this event led to HK being shot on Oblong. After being shot in Oblong, he was rushed to the hospital where he passed away. HK now rests with his brother, T. Roy. Right. Final hours of goddamn HK. That's it.
And I guess for the record, he is home. Because I see everybody was tweeting him and texting him, telling him to welcome home. And now I said to my dog, free, free my name. Yeah, he home. So everybody was happy with McAdoo came home. And they said he got the same demeanor and the same aura like King Vaughn. They said he could be the next King Vaughn if they let him come out and do music. I don't think the plan is to let this man do music. From all the stuff that I heard, it's the same shit that they chasing me more around for. They just can't chase this young man around because it ain't going to be a chase. It's going to be a motherfucking bloodbath. He's going to bust that gun back at them, and they know that. So I feel like the way it to be is play friendly, sit back, I like anything cool. We're going to draw him in, and boom. That's what I feel like the plan is for McAdoo. Like I said, for McAdoo, 600. Stay safe out there, baby boy. Do your thing. Don't fuck with snakes. Cut the grass and close that back door.